let's talk about the determinant of a matrix. But first, what is determinant? Okay, so how can you visualize what determinant actually is in terms of matrices, right? So here we have a two by two matrix, okay? And what I did was I set the first column, okay? The first column of A to be a vector. And you see, I drew that in yellow, okay? So we have the vector two, zero. And then I set the next column, okay? The second column of A to also be a vector. And I also drew that as a vector over here, okay? Now, I can complete this by making a parallelogram, okay? And so the determinant of the matrix A is actually just this area of the parallelogram over here. So we call this determinant of A. So if I ask you to take the determinant of matrix A, I'm actually just talking about a number that refers to the area of this parallelogram over here. Now let's actually try taking the determinant, okay? Again, it's quite straightforward. If we represent any of our two by two matrices like this, where the elements are A, B, C, and D, it's always just A times D minus B times C. So for our case, where matrix A is two, one, zero, two, okay? All it is is just two times two, so two times two, which are these elements over here, minus zero times one, which are these elements, zero times one, which would give you four. So how do we take the determinant of a three by three matrix? This obviously is, would be quite tricky, okay, compared to our determinant earlier because it was just a formula, right? For this, we can use cofactor expansion. The first step for that is to check which rows or which columns have zeros because we want to have as many zeros as possible. In this case, I identify that there's one zero in our matrix and it touches row one and column one. Okay, so I can choose either row one or I can choose column one. In my case, I'd like to choose row one just because. Okay, so now let's actually perform our determinant. So remember I chose the first row, okay? I chose the first row. So I'm gonna slash through the first element of the first row vertically and horizontally, okay? And then I am going to multiply that first target element, okay, which is the zero, multiply that with the determinant of whatever is remaining, of whatever we didn't slash. So that's the determinant of two, two, one, one, okay? Now this first term is positive. Why? Because our target element here is positive. Back when I was taking this class, I'd like to remember this checkerboard here to remember the signs, okay? So now let's move on to the next element. Okay, now since we chose row one, we wanna to move to the next element in that row. So our target element now is two, okay? So we wanna cross that out vertically, then cross that out horizontally. So that would be two times, okay, times the determinant of whatever is left. So we have four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one, okay? Now, would this be a plus or a minus behind this, okay? We saw our target element was two, which is on this position. And if we refer to our checkerboard over here, it's minus, right? So we put a minus behind this two. And now we move on to our last term. For our last term, we repeat the same process. So again, we move, since we chose row one, we move to this element, okay? So now we cross this out, okay? And we cross this out. And now what's left again is four, two, three, one. So our element first, which is one, that's our target element. And then the determinant of whatever is left is four, two, three, one, okay? Now, is it a plus or a minus behind it? We refer to our checkerboard and we see that it's plus. And now we see that these are two by two determinants, which we did earlier using our formula, right? Where we do this element times this element Okay, minus this element times this element. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, just to avoid confusion, let's separate this. Okay, so this first term would be zero times two times one is two, minus two times one again is two, so that's really zero. 
minus okay minus two times four times one is four okay minus two times three minus six okay and our last term would be one so that's plus one times four times one so that's four okay minus two times three minus six And then this would give our final determinant. So our first term, okay, our first term is 0. The second term is negative 2 times negative 2. So that's 4, okay, that's 4. And our third term over here is 1 times negative 2, which is 4 minus 6. So that's minus 2. So our determinant is just Hopefully, now you know what a determinant is geometrically and how to solve for determinant of a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix.